Hi everybody, Lynn McDonald here. I am a life coach and a hypnotist, and today I want to talk about naming and taming your inner critic. Um, your inner critic lives inside of you, and it's kind of like that little gremlin in the 1984 movie that that's the like evil little vindictive thing that's always getting into trouble, you know? They judge your every move. They're bashing you about almost everything, making you feel unlovable and unworthy, that you're not pretty enough or smart enough or sexy enough or skinny enough or rich enough. Basically, you're just not enough of anything. And they live inside of you and they hang around a lot, for me anyway. But I'm guessing for most people, your inner critic is... Um, a significant part of your day <laughs> every day so um, the first thing I would like to address is taking your inner critic and going all right um, giving it a name I named mine Liza Minnelli Liza Minnelli is kind of like a hot mess disheveled bitch she's like really judgmental and she is always like really she's smoking you know smoking and kind of drunk and going really when <laughs> you're not aware of that are you kidding me what do you seriously think that's a good idea oh good lord girl or uh lynn how old are you now why can't you get your shit together what's up you know anyway so when i named her i gave her a personality i mean kind of like fits what 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 she was doing to me in the first place but it also disassociated me from her in terms of like um she has a personality of her own and she's separate from me even though she lives inside of me but giving her her own identity and then um acknowledging that she's there made things a little easier for me to do and then then when i gave her a name and now she has a personality then whenever she showed up i would say okay what are you here for today liza like what's up why are you showing up Liza's like a little gift, an evil little gift, but she's a gift because she shows up for a reason. And usually the reason is to protect me from something, maybe from embarrassing myself. Maybe she's keeping me small so I don't um, do something that I'm afraid of. Maybe she's preventing me from moving forward on something that um, is a leap for my family that, uh, you know, is just uncertain. So Liza wants me to be protected in some way, even though, you know, she's not very nice about how she goes around, goes about it. So identifying her and then uh, saying, okay, what is her role in my life now? Like, what, why did she show up? And, and honestly, in a lot of ways, Liza was super helpful for me. Like, she would be like, seriously, like, you're not, you're going to do that or whatever. You're not going to do that. And then she made me step up my game. She gave me some like big cojones, you know, like she had me do stuff that because she was so judgmental. I was like, shut the hell up. I'm doing that. Um, OK, so now that we identified her, disassociated her from ourselves and gave her a personality in, in, uh, of her own and then know what her role is, why she shows up, like really stepping back and going, OK, why are you here? And now it's about approaching her from a kind place. Thank you for coming, Liza. Thank you for coming today. I really appreciate you. I'm glad that you came here. What are you here to teach me, right? And so it's more about stepping back and going, all right, why Why do I feel bad? Why am I feeling so bad about myself? Like, why am I doing this to myself? A lot of times we do it. Self-deprecation is a lot easier than embarrassment from someone else. When you do it to yourself, you're like, ah, yeah, I'm a loser, whatever. But if someone else does it to you, it hurts a little more, you know? So you're kind of like, eh. so I don't know. That was it for me. And then um, the key thing moving forward is after we disassociate, we give her a personality, um, we see what she did for us to protect us. Now we give her a new role. Her role now is my biggest cheerleader, my biggest fan and my best friend. Cause she's gonna go and point out all the little things about myself that I need to work on for me. And so in a way I'm like, okay, you know what? If you point this out, girl, I'm cool. I'm gonna like look at this now from a different way. And then maybe it'll make things a lot easier 
moving forward, living with her and, you know, taming her and naming her was really super helpful. So I hope you found this helpful for you. Uh, if you are finding that your inner critic is around more often than you are, <laughs> then maybe look me up and I would be happy to serve you. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.